Hi there. As promised, here is how you're going to be able to find out the gender of your bird without doing a DNA test. Now, as a caveat, DNA is the only 100% foolproof, absolute way to make sure that your bird is of a certain gender. But this was taught to us by a breeder who was also taught by another breeder, and this has yet to fail. So far, this is 100% accurate, and as you will see at work, you'll come to the same conclusion. All you're going to need is a steel. It has to be steel. It has to be a magnetic because birds, most animals have magnetic fields around them, which is generally how they guide themselves migratorily from north and south. Generally with a head on it, an inch at least to an inch and a quarter. Inch and a quarter generally works better. Larger birds are going to have to use larger nails, but it has to be steel. And you need a piece of string or a piece of floss, and that's it. So here we go. For all intents and purposes, this pen is the nail. And basically you're just gonna hang it. It's gonna be like this. Obviously the nail doesn't weigh as much, but here's what's gonna happen. You're just gonna dangle it as close to as possible. Now you might have to just kinda slowly, once it stays still, move a little bit around the head, but it will catch. And once it catches, it's gonna start moving. It's gonna start moving in one of two directions. You have the brain hemisphere down here. Males are gonna move straight up and down. Okay, it doesn't matter which way the nail is pointing, it doesn't matter which way the bird's head is pointing, if it's a male, it's going to go straight up and down the hemispheres. If it's a female, it'll start to move in a transverse or perpendicular and a circular motion. And that's it. And you'll notice males, females. And it's as simple as that. So you're going to see an actual demonstration on real birds on what this is going to look like. Now you notice, you just put the nail right there and hold it steady and eventually it will start moving. Now obviously, see how it starts now moving in a circle, almost oblong, that's a female. Now you'll notice directly towards the camera you'll see it's going right up and down the hemisphere. Here's your boy. So, before you go and spend money or watch their breeding practices, that's how you tell whether or not you have a male or a female. So whether you have a Donnie or a Marie.